Happy Saturday, everybody! It's July 23rd, and welcome to Side Dish. It's me, Doug. Uh, well, Amy would be here. She's watching from afar, but she's in our friend John's house right now, who's in town. John, he's been here before, but he's having a birthday party today. His birthday was on Thursday, uh, so he's 40, which makes me old. So, happy birthday, John. Uh, hey, Ping. And, um, yeah, now, you know, so we're going to make spice it up a little bit. <laughs> and we're going to make jalapeno poppers and armadillo eggs, which are jalapenos, which will be split in half and then put back together, stuffed with cream cheese mixture, and then wrapped in a coating of sausage. So I've got, um, I've got breakfast sausage and chorizo, about a pound, half a pound each, and I'm gonna mix that together. So um, if, let's get moving here because I wanna get this, this has to cook for 45 minutes and we're just gonna do it. We're just getting, we're doing it live! So first things first is I've got four ounces of cream cheese here and I'm gonna add it. Uh, yeah, to this nice bowl. I didn't give you any utensils or anything like that. This is gonna be fun. Okay, and I need a half cup of shredded cheese which, man, it's about that. Um, man, what a week. It's been really busy for me at work, so I've been kind of keeping busy. Um, what else has been going on here? Um, I got some, uh, just like a couple tablespoons of, um, well, it's going to be more than that, but it's cilantro. And I'm just going to give it a nice dice because I want it to incorporate into the cream cheese mixture when we get it going here. So the, uh, this is a Traeger recipe. So if you've got a Traeger, but you can do this on any smoker, you know, just make sure that your temperature is consistently at about 300. Um, and that's gonna get you where you wanna be. So again, I'm just getting this kind of really good and chopped up. I hope everybody had a good week. Um, we're going, we're, man, our July is almost over, that's insane. Which means, what do we get? Two weeks to your birthday, Karma? 12 days. 12 11. days, something like that. Okay, so I got a bowl and I mix it. You could do this in a stand mixer, but we're going to do it by hand because, you know, um, that's how we roll around these parts. And then get a big, you know, sort of sturdy mixer. Make sure your cream cheese, again, is super soft here. You want to be able to mix this and incorporate all of this stuff together really well and so that you don't lose you know so it becomes homogenized as they say oh man i golfed this morning i was up at like 6 15 and i was so i'm uh, i'm running on uh energy drinks and pure spite so what else oh carmen is house sitting she just got back from house sitting and then now she's started on another one she's done what tomorrow right yeah. More afternoon. So if you need uh, any house sitting in the Reno Sparks area, <laughs> Carmen cares for your house and your pets. You can. Uh, and your kids. And your kids. Yep. And your kids. So, you know, just looking to make a, make a little bit of dollar bills, y'all, as they say. So this, I'm just kind of, again, if this wasn't softened as much as this is, you'd probably have a better, a, a different. Uh, experience. So uh, kind of getting us in there. Now, I've only got, you're not putting, uh, they're, they're jalapenos, everybody. Let's just think about this for a second. They're not, these are bigger ones, but I'm not going to fill them to the brim with um, what's going on. The only thing, additional thing I'm going to add to the filling, which you can add to the meat, but I'm adding like a, a large clove of garlic here um, that I minced real well. I just want to have a little, I want to have it a little bright. So again, the, the mixing, get mixing and then letting it sit and then mixing this in will help kind of keep that going. So, um, oh my God, we got, there's just so much to do and so much to see. We got the end of summer is coming quick. Um, what else is going on? Anything? Um, not really. Kind of just hanging out. Oh, the cat left. She was hanging out, sitting on the floor over there for like 
Luis. 20 minutes. Yeah, Luis is allergic to dogs and cats, but has been wrestling with all of them. Some people thought he has the brains all the way. That's <laughs> fine. Okay, so I got that. I'm going to get it out of the way. Okay, so for the next step, I'm going to um, seed and core these. So I just, you know, we've done this before. I'm just taking this spoon, and I'm just going to take the top and the bottom off here. And I'm going to do this with six of these bad boys. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've never made these before. They're, oh, it's a little stiff. Um, we'll do this. I'm going to put some gloves on, and I'll show you the gloves I'm going to use. Um, because if you're working with a lot of, if you're working with one jalapeno or one pepper, you don't necessarily need to work uh, with gloves on. But if you're going to be working with a lot, uh, like in the fall, I have so many jalapenos and pepper plants, I'm ordering to make pepper jelly. And um, we basically, I want to have those gloves on because you touch your eyes, your nose. Uh, any other sensitive areas out there, you're ending up in a, you're going to be in a, you're going to have a bad time. So uh, these are heavier duty for shop work, but I like them because they're heavier duty and well, I'll shake all the sawdust off them, but this way, I don't, I don't. Piper, nobody, nobody knew us here. Thanks. And, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, so I like these because they're they're not going to, they're not cheap. So they're not going to let that stuff get through. So I'm just going to, I got a little, you know, garbage here. And I'm just taking that, and I want to get as much as this out. Now you could leave this, are you in my kitchen? Oh, no. Um, get as much of this out of here as you can. If you wanted a little, Spicer, you could probably leave this in. Oh, I probably should make sure I understand which one goes to which. Okay. Because I got to go back together. <laughs> so. The, the weird part about this, it says it serves eight people, but you only require six jalapenos halved and seeded, which I'm not sure that math works out. Um, but, you know, we'll let the great people at Traeger figure that one out. Um, I... I was going to do a deep dive on bacon, and then I forgot about the bacon, and it was still good, but the pork belly, so I did it off camera, and I wasn't prepared. So, some other day. But the bacon's going to be good. It's going to be maple brown sugar, and then in one, I made two bags, and one of them has uh, Calabrian chili flakes in it, and it's going to be a little spicy. Why is it spicy? My job these days is just embarrassing Carmen. So the, the look I got, I succeeded. So, nope, I don't know. Yep, okay. So there, again, I don't want these to be too spicy. The other thing is I'm making poppers. And so I've got the, the stuff over there and we're also gonna make Bronco, like have you ever been to Arby's and had their jalapeno poppers? They give you, um, this sauce. It's called Bronco Berry Sauce. And I think we've talked about it in the past because I'm obsessed with it. It's like how uh, Rick from Rick and Morty is obsessed with the Szechuan sauce. I'm obsessed with Bronco Berry Sauce. And for a while, Arby's got, well, that was really seedy, uh, got rid of it. And I was like, there's got to be a warehouse out there with Bronco Berry Sauce. But the last they brought it back, so my I didn't have to do any illicit things to find Bronco Berry Sauce. Um, it's just a pepper jelly, to be honest with you. So we're gonna make one of those. And actually, it's pepper jelly sauce. So what we're gonna make is kind of convoluted, but you know, it needs time to, to um, cool. So we'll do that next. And then we'll do the jalapenos at the last part. And you can watch me uh, try to get not splash myself with hot oil. So that's what I've got going back there, which I need to make sure that it doesn't get above 350. Um, 325, 350. Uh, what else is going on with me? Oh, I don't know. What else is going on with you, Carmen? 
she signed up for the DMV finally, so we can finally teach her how to drive. That's good. Okay. Yeah, that was, that was a lot. Just, are you looking forward to that? No. No, of course not. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to use, I did this, but I don't need this anymore. What I have is I have this flat spatula, but if you've got a flat butter knife, you use that. Um, I got this at a, a steak seller, I think. Um, so, just gonna get this in here and spread it. I'm gonna do this, you know, and then I'm gonna go back over and stuff them if I have to stuff them full, but this is, might be a little bit too busy. Should have stuck with it. So I've got this in here. This is kind of the fill size. You want to just kind of even with it because you're again you're taking another half and you're gonna fill this up. Mm -mm. Uh -oh. Jack is very excited and he wants to talk, but he's not going to. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna sort of get these all done. Make sure I have all this. Ah, because we're going to cut, we're going to put it together and then cut it in half again. In the center. Hold on. I should probably read the recipe all the way through next time. Uh, we'll get there. Let's just finish this part and then we'll go. So, this is why I should probably not do things like a million things at once in one day, like golf, and then get try and get ready for a party after this, which I'm going to with John's for his birthday, like I said, and then also um, try and do side dishes. It's just it's too much, Doug. A little bit of a fun spoiler. Uh, we got, we have somebody who is... Uh, working on a little side dish uh, theme song, intro for the, li for the live stuff and maybe an intro and outro for other stuff. And I got a little preview of it uh, today and I'm very excited. So look forward to that coming soon. Uh, well, I don't know, coming soon. I'm not pressured because it's, she's graciously doing it and, and I love it. I'm so appreciative. So. Sometime soon, there might be music to go along with the intro. I can't even believe that, right? So, okay. Okay. You've got, this is another reason you want to have these gloves on, right? Because um, it's, it's kind of a gooey, gooey, sticky mess here. So, well, I'm really quiet today. She's, he's growling at the cat. <laughs> He's just licking his tail. Oh. I understand now. Oh. He's he's messing with the cat, or she, the cat's messing with him, so he's growling at the cat? Yeah, that's what was just happening. Ah. Okay. I have no idea. It's like a farm around here. Animals, animals everywhere. Um, how's everybody else's weekend? I hope it's been good. Is everybody having a good summer so far? I hope so. Um... Yeah, I think Amy's got two weeks left before she goes back to school now, so now he's really excited. So again, this is pretty good on the filling, and it's going to be pretty good. I think with that fresh garlic in there as it cooks up, um, and you get a nice smoky smokiness to it, too. That's going to be really good. I've had, have I had these before? I think I've had these before. It's summer, but I've never made them. Maybe that's, so... The um, fun part about this, uh, is it sort of a flavor. Again, these are like flavor bombs. Remember when we made shotgun shells? Same sort of concept, right? It's you know a cheese stuff thing, and then wrapped in something else. So the amount of like different and varying textures and flavors you're going to get are a lot so that is um something to be aware of and i think that's what makes these probably pretty um desirable have you ever had these 
Louise or? or uh, I have, yeah. What do you, do you like them? I love them. Oh, wow. Well. What are my favorite snacks? They're huge. It's on the legs. I've had um, fried jalapeno poppers, and I thought it was a fried pickle, and I wanted to die. I bet you that probably wasn't great. <laughs> no. Yeah. But I didn't make that mistake again, huh? No. Yeah. PSA, make sure you know what you're eating. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. It's almost like this recipe knows what it's talking about. So, do I misunderstand this? Okay, so, so in the cheese mixture, you go each jalapeno half and cut in half again. Okay, so I guess you don't put them together. That's a Christian. Um, so. <laughs> Oh, oh, that is that is not ideal. Okay, I probably should let's taste this a little bit. Got a little bit of extra crude oh, filling here. Oh yeah, that's gonna be real good. Okay, so now that they're cut and stemmed, I'm gonna take these gloves off. I have I'm gonna have to use more because we have. When we make the poppers, it's going to be poppers. Um, it's going to be good. So take your your meat, your meats. And I got this fun, we got this fun masher thing. And I'm just going to mash these together so that they sort of, you could also do this with the hands. If this doesn't come together, but. I just want it to be an even mixture. Yeah, this is not good what I want to do. But who cares? All right. Okay. And again, I'm just I'll wash my hands, but you want it evenly mixed. So I like I like chorizo, but I don't want to. This recipe calls for I, I'm modifying it slightly because I don't want too much uh I want a mixture of flavors. Chorizo can often overpower um, other flavors, and so you want to make sure that um, you kind of mix it up if you don't want that intense of a flavor. So this is just breakfast sausage and chorizo that I mix it together. So you get getting an interesting flavor mix, I guess. Okay. Also, chorizo will stay in your hands because it's got paprika in there. Okay, so hey, get out of the kitchen, Jack. Let's put more gloves on because it's gonna be messy. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I don't have any trips planned. I know. Oh, Amy's finally finishing Stranger Things. Carmen, what? Where are you at on Stranger Things right now? So season three. Oh, can't episode get... like two. You have two left. No, I'm on episode two. Oh come on, get it together, you kid. You got nothing. You got nothing to do over there. Just watch TV and hang out with a dog. True. And sleep. And that's very true. You do a lot of sleeping. Okay.
and post and uh, well not post but when I if I have to go through there so just keep us posted if it's really really bad then I'll try and I'll try to figure it out as we go but uh, we'll keep going here okay so again you know, we're just making an egg here and did it just I mean it must have just started so I don't know what's you got really very choppy. Interesting. Whoa, don't fall in there. Please don't fall in there. If it gets any better or gets any worse, can just just let us know or if you can understand. So sorry. This is the benefits doing live TV, everybody, or live YouTube, I guess. People are talking about really other things, you know, we've got a lot of these other about. Okay, so I'm just going to continue to wrap these up and kind of get going here, and then the other stuff won't take terribly long. The longest it takes is the frying of the jalapenos, and that I've already got sort of taken going, the oil going, so. Well, I guess that's not true. I don't know how to mass very well because um, when you cut them in half, that's 12, and you cut them in half again, that's 24. Right? That's how math works. Yeah. Real lively crowd out here. So then there'd be three for. Three for everybody. Oh. That makes more sense. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So those things are huge. How can someone eat three spicy things? I, I can really eat one. Again, don't be, don't go too crazy. You just want to make them. You want to make them that they get covered, but. Um, Please. 
Icky. This is really sick. What's going on? What? 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 What's happening? Whispering? Piper's being weird. Piper's always being weird. Well, he pointed it out that she's being weird. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so here's, you know, here's a meat. It's not very attractive, everybody. It's just a, a meat, meat log. Log. Exactly. <laughs> that's why you said that. That's what I was thinking. Okay. And there's one, two, three, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. No? No. Mm. Well, that's spicy. I don't like spice. I don't. So, I don't know. You told, you told me now. I didn't like spice until I got older. Exactly. It grows on you. I mean, unless you've eaten spice, you know, your whole life in your household. So. <laughs> yeah. Good opinion. Okay. Good. Some of these are bigger than others, it seems, but hey, you know. I wish I, I probably should have gotten a quarter cup to see what uh, an actual thing should look like, but. Who needs a measuring cup? Yeah, nobody. Did you get registered for your classes? Still locked, but I called them and told them that it's still locked after five business days, and they put me on the academic advisor's top of the waiting list. So whenever they get to it, they'll get to it, but... Keep pursuing it! Yep. Inside of that refrigerator, in the bag, it has more of this in there. Audio is better now, Ping says. Okay, thank you, Ping. Quality control. I don't know, maybe it's something spun up in the background. I think it's in that bag right there on the bottom. Um, because we always over order. Hey, kid. You know, it's just how it goes. We, we, we gave me a lot of Chinese food last night. Yeah, I know. I heard her. I got jealous. You heard her? Yeah, I was here. Oh. Because you guys were like, we're going to eat all the gluten with all the gluten, extra gluten. And then she's like, no, I want Chinese food. Oh, I didn't hear that. Or did I respond to it? Because um, I don't know what's happening most times. I don't know. Okay, uh, let's just mix more of this up. So this is gonna, this is gonna come together so fast. That is making a terrible sound. Just get in there, you know. I'm just going to keep going on this, and we'll get all of these done. It is going to be a long episode, probably, but, you know, we'll be fine. I'm glad I started this first. Luckily, the other stuff is not too bad, and these just have to cook, so for about 30 minutes. Uh, what was requested of me when I get, when I go to John's after this was to bring something that you would want to eat when you're drunk, and I thought this would probably fit the bill. Okay, so again, you can see the technique. You kind of want to. I'm getting it pretty flat. I'm not getting it super, but it's like a quarter of an inch is what you're going for. And then again, just the technique I've been doing is just starting in one corner and just folding it around making a meat cocoon and um, yeah kind of then shaping it into uh, whatever 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 an armadillo egg is which is you know, these things so okay do you usually make them like this uh, these uh, have you make these uh, Luis, before armadillo eggs or just all the poppers? I haven't made any before. I just no. I mean, have you had? I guess that have you had these? Before? Oh yeah, yeah. I go to like many fast food restaurants and like try all of them because I want to know which one's best. So. Perfect. They're all really good though. What is your favorite fast food popper? Mm, maybe Carl's Jr. It's just like 50-50 because they sometimes make them good or sometimes they don't. I think that's for me. I think that's like a 
That's like fast food, like in general. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> Carl's Jr. They're like really good at doing that, you know. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. oh, that's good. <laughs> Hi, Lewis. Hmm. She's trying to get up on Lewis's lap. Yes. She <laughs> Probably like, hey, there's some fruit up there I want, so. Spicy fruit, I'm sorry. Spicy, spicy. What's, uh, what is everybody's opinion on spicy food? I mean, do you like, I mean, out there in the world, did you not eat spice? Like, I didn't eat really, I wasn't really eating a lot of spicy food when I was a child. So, uh, over, also didn't eat really any mustard except for yellow mustard. So, um, Ooh, honey mustard is great. Honey mustard is amazing. Mm -hmm. Dijon mustard is great. Um, spicy brown mustard, like that's amazing. But um, now I kind of like, I used to like jalapenos and sometimes they still get me. But um, I mean, I kind of feel like I can eat pretty spicy these days and really like it. Uh, I really like um, Singapore rice noodles, which is, you know, if you've never had it, you should really get it the next time you go to the Chinese food restaurant. I know that doesn't make sense since Singapore is not in China, but um, they it's really good. It's, you know, it's rice noodles, and then it's like uh, the pork, the Chinese uh, char siu pork. There's shrimp in it, It's a, and then curry, a, like a yellow curry, and then vegetables, and oh, it's got some good spice to it. And it's kind of, it's that spice that you want to keep eating. Uh, we'll see how these all together when they come out because I, I'm, I'm dumb that, um, that they're going to be like not bursting now, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to eat it tomorrow, which is fun. I'm play that with the like, three sessions in a row, which is pretty good. That's fun. I'm going to be in there. Uh, and then my buddy online, <clears throat> Tom, he and some other friend of mine, <clears throat> we're going to start playing an online game, which is fun. So, he's actually play, which is kind of good to play in a while. So, I'm looking, really looking forward to that. Um, interesting stuff. San Diego to Comic Con is going on right now, so there's fun stuff coming out of that. There's like a new John Wick user character, which is fun. So. Now that there's a little trick in the room, and monkey box, I'm going to watch monkey box. I'm trying to be in the winter, I'm going to turn around and ask you to just be safe. I think it's a smart move. You know, you're a good deal, I mean. But, you know, you can do what you want. It's just a great idea, you know. I should have gotten the most prepared most of this and then just had like a few. I'm going to just do it till the end of the meet and if it's not enough to cover the remainder of these and that's what we'll have. Right, Carmen? Just do what we can do. Are you liking house sitting? Yes. What's your favorite part? Besides being alone, um, mm, the quiet. Yeah, sometimes being quiet is pretty nice, huh? You don't have to also work. Also, the hot tub. <laughs> well, in your current place, they have a pretty badass hot tub, so yeah. Um, so I can understand that is a. Perk. <laughs> so. You look so pretty, Doug. No, I do not. <laughs> I look like a ghoul. You're taking, snap, a you're taking like Snapchat photos of me with filters on the other side, like the youth do, and then showing it to me. We just want to make you look good, Doug. I look good all the all, all the time. That's, God, it's the crying one, even when you're happy. If you guys, so I don't know. I I'm on. I I look at TikTok a lot because I my 
brain needs just rapid stimulation. And there's this filter on there and now it's on t- uh, Snapchat too. And it's it just makes you look like you're crying no matter what your facial expression is. And it, it's over exaggerated. It's very funny. So you know the bad guy in Sonic, the hedgehog? No. I mean, I know, yes. Like what he looks like? Mr. Robotic, not Robotnik, yes. Mm. You look like him. <laughs> It looked like somebody else, too. I just can't hold my finger on it. Well, you know, my estimation in, in meat is a little off, but we, we got all but three. So seven people can have three. How about that? Pay attention to me. <laughs> really. Over there filming, filming me. Keep yourself busy. Okay. Ready, Luis? Okay. <laughs> Your job, I'll, I'll hand them over, is to take them and just throw them right on the grill, and then I will tell you when to when to turn them. Sound good? Yep. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna. Now we're really we're gonna put in the rapid overdrive. I'm gonna make this bronco berry sauce because it needs to cool a little bit. So I've got three quarters of a cup of just water. I've got. Uh, Active, okay, yes. And then I've got, uh, what is this? A third of a cup of sugar. I need a quarter cup of this light corn syrup. Start, or syrup corn syrup. This is, again, I'm going for saccharin sweet, you know, because when you get that stuff, it is artificially sweet. You know, it's like mass produced and, all that fun stuff. And this recipe, if you wanted to do it, it calls for, and I quote, 50 drops of red food coloring or approximately one quarter teaspoon of, of red tables of red food coloring. Now, why would you, why would you just say 50 drops to be funny? I don't understand. It's, it's like, it, it's dumb is what it is. Okay, I need a quarter cup of this corn sh- Corn sugar, corn syrup, I guess. Whoa, rapido over there. Awesome. Sticky stuff. Now this is where it's gonna get real interesting. So I need a little vinegar, about a teaspoon. Just eyeball that. I need two, three tablespoons of fruit pectin. So you would use this like if you uh, for jellies and jams, right? So I'm just three tablespoons is a lot, but we do want it to set up and be. It also has cornstarch in it. This is going to be the thickest stuff ever when it sets up, but I guess it's got to hold up. To, And then I need cornstarch, which I didn't get up. You know, why would I? And I need two teaspoons of the cornstarch. So, what did I just do with that? Oh, I threw it over here. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I thought they might tune in from the party, but I guess not. I guess they're being too cool for school over there. Maybe they're showing you on the TV. Oh, maybe. Are you guys, uh, are you guys out there? Watching me from the big TV, you should text Amy and be like, "Why aren't you watching? The, why aren't you watching inside the?" And say that's from me. I thought I just have like fifty people in here, all on their phones, watching like cool people. Um, so I'm gonna whisk all of this together. I don't know. Again, so this is the base of that dipping sauce. That's whisked together pretty well. Okay. So put that whisk over there. 
and I need to get this to a full boil. So it's we're on medium to high heat, and so we don't really care that it's you know about that. Um, stirring often, and then it's going to simmer for uh, like five minutes. So while that simmers, we'll start doing our other stuff here. Good. So now, so I've got one. I, I'm not going to make one pound of jalapeno pepper. That's just an insane, well, an insane person to do. But I'm going to make a handful, and then if I, I'll make some later if I need to. So I need to take the tops and the bottoms off. Now again, I'm going to wear gloves, even though they inhibit me. I don't want jalapeno juice in my eye. Why not? Why not? It's Do you want me to go blind? Best feeling ever. I got bear spray in my eye and I didn't go blind. Bear spray? Who would put bear spray? I in? Uh, dropped it and it started spraying up and it just uh, <laughs> sprayed. These are me. Alaskan problems. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else here got to worry about putting bear spray in their eyes? Every day. I didn't think about it. I didn't think so. All right. So I've got over here, I've got, this is about two tablespoons of, of just minced jalapeno. Make sure I've got that correct. Uh, about half a teaspoon, which I'm not, so I've got more than that, but I'm going to put about that much in there. That's just to give it a little bit of heat. And then I'm going to put about half of this in there because it's that's about a quarter of a, a, a teaspoon or a, a quarter of a cup. Maybe What's the orange stuff? This is just red bell pepper. Okay. So that's where it's going to get some of its flavoring. This sauce will get the. Not only will it be sweet, but it will actually have vegetables in it. I worked at Arby's and I never tried that sauce. You missed out. I'm just telling you right now. <laughs> so. Like working at McDonald's but not having a Big Mac. <laughs> that, you know what? Yes. I can't. What is Jack? What is your problem, dude? No, thank you. Hey, enough. Oh my God, that's that is really boiling. Okay. So now I'm just gonna let that go down and simmer for about five minutes. We'll give ourselves a timer here shortly. Okay. So now I'm going to. Actually, cut these into about half inch. Now, this is where the things are going to go off the rails, everybody. So stay with me. So I'm going to do, what is this? Uh, about one inch rings like that or a little bit less or whatever. And then I'm going to take this real fun knife here. And I'm just going to go around and make sure that I get the membrane and then the seeds out. And that will that will lead us to our next step. So I'm going to cut these all into the ring size, and then we're going to order of operation this biatch. Probably should finish the first step first, but whatever. So again, this get a thin knife. If you've got a melon baller that's a smallish melon baller, use that. That'll also work pretty well. Behind me, in a, I'll show you in a minute, I've got um, two cups of milk, two cups of gluten-free fl flour, and two cups of panko, and uh, regular gluten-free breadcrumbs. Could you let him outside? Thanks. He's over there growling and wiggling his butt. He does the Nala stops. <laughs> oh, yep. Go right outside and bark. That's perfect. Okay. Okay. Keep stirring this so you don't, it doesn't burn 
on the bottom. Nobody wants a burned bottom. And then I got here four. We'll do a few more. And then I'll, we'll do some frying. I don't, you know, if you want more heat, leave some of the membrane in there. But, I, you know, I think you don't really want a, a ton of heat, so. At least, I don't think we want a ton of heat. Do you want a ton of heat? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Mm. Do you? Some might be some might be hotter than others. Who knows? That's how jalapeno poppers are, right? It's the same thing as uh, is like bottle caps and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. So now for the sauce. What? Yes, I yes, thank you. <laughs> okay. So weird sometimes. Woo! Me or the chair. The chair. Don't worry, everybody. I know you're thinking, but Doug, you haven't made a cocktail yet. Ping, I think last episode was the earliest we made a cocktail. This might be the latest we made a cocktail. But let me pour some of this uh, water off now that the ice is melted all the way. I want to. I, I want to. Make this mixture, and then we'll then we'll have a cocktail. So, um, so I've got one pound of cream cheese. That's two of these big bomb donuts here. I don't really not necessarily think you need all that in a bag of chips, but if you're making a pound of uh, poppers, then you can. You're probably going to want all this because you're going to stuff them full, or or at least fill them full. So if you have a, we can, you can use your piping bag for this. I probably don't quote me on that. So I've got two tablespoons of lime juice. I've got, oh, and here's, this is half a teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder, and half, uh, half a teaspoon of each of garlic powder, onion powder, and ground cumin. So that's going to go in there. Good dog. Punch him in the face. What dog? The dog that's outside. You know. He's your dog. Jack. You live here now, so he's part of your <laughs> dog too. So. Your dog. Only when he's good as my dog. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take this off of here. That's thickened up quite nicely. So we've got about seven more minutes, so you got to go outside and split those. I'll tell you when. We're looking for, oh, and when you're out there, when you turn them, just make sure you do the meat might stick. So just be gentle when you lift them. So that's going to sit over here. And now I'm going to bring our dredging station over. Oh, my God. I'm just slopping it <laughs> over. Slap it up. Because this is like a, like a, this is where gloves also will come in handy, but. I will, I will explain that when we do. Oh this is what happens. I did too much. I did too much, everybody. Classic Doug side dish mistake. Okay. Uh, I'm going to oversize whisk this. Why is this here? Oh, and a little salt. I tried for comedic effect and it didn't work. No, not a lot of salt, John. Welcome to the party. Okay. I, I thought for sure that you were having a party, you put me on the big screen, make everybody get on their phone and watch as we're doing it, but no. Here I am floundering in the wind. Ping is the only person who <laughs> is here to support me all the time and the other four or five people that were there. I appreciate you. Um, I put more salt in it, believe me, John. But there's cumin, there's garlic, and onion powder already in here. I don't want it to be super over the top. 
What the swamp cooler, bro? That's not great. <laughs> Amy's watching. Good. Now there's eight people. I know. I appreciate that everybody decided to tune in. <laughs> 52 minutes in. 52 minutes in. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, wow. So this is how it's smooth, right? I, that That's why it has to be, you know, you have that dog. Is, your dog, Amy, is so bad. <laughs> Them to death. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have been. Why haven't you been talking to me? Okay. So now that we've got our filling, I'm going to take. What did I do with that thing? Ah, here it is. Clean it off. This is going to be interesting. Get out of the kitchen, Jack. So see this mix is much creamier and it's just gonna I'm just this is this is it right here. This is the magic. Wow. So then take the other side. So then what I'm gonna do hands full of tacos. Hands? There were no golf tips, right? I mean I wish there were go uh, golf tips. I'm not I'm, okay. We're gonna do the wet dry hand method here. Wet hand dry hand we're gonna double dunk here <laughs> tacos aren't i mean maybe mini tacos a good appetizer spaghetti tacos never had spaghetti tacos they're delicious you keep talking about them but... you should make them for my birthday <laughs> <laughs> yeah, spaghetti tacos so the thing that I'm, I'm looking at here is because this is gluten-free flour and it's like rice, I totally just broke, <laughs> broke protocol, everybody. I broke protocol. My dry hand. Oh, well, you tell Remy I'm coming. You know, she's probably going to go home before I get there, though. Here's a baby. Hang on, dog. So, okay. One cup of flour transfer that, but I'm not letting them stand. I didn't do that. So now I'm transferring to back to milk one last time. And then breadcrumb. And you want to give this a good coat. Now, again, I got the, I like the different types of the breadcrumbs. Now, it is not going to look, it's not going to be super, super breaded, but it's going to look, it's going to be breaded when you get there. So don't worry. Don't worry about what it looks like. Okay. Uh, we're hot pads, hot pads. Anyone? Hot pads? Here we go. Oh, they're over here. So my oil is about 300, so while I'm doing the rest of these, I'll get them back up to, this back up to about 325 to 350. Again, I like this methodology here. Use your tools that you've got. So you've got a board, push it in, 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 go to the other side. What are you, what are you giggling about over there? I'm not stopping it, you can't hiccup. I, I couldn't stop burping you earlier. I was burping more than Rick Sanchez was, as I said. Um, it was weird. I thought that was your dry hand. Nope. This is the dry hand. I wiped I wiped off the wet hand. Okay. Don't worry. So there's that. I only have to go to the flour once and then the milk. I, uh, I, broke, I broke protocol. So that goes in there. You got about two minutes to go turn those. Cool. Okay. Again, not a ton, but you can see that it's on there. And it hopefully won't slide off. Hurry up. I'm doing the best I can here. <laughs> I still have to make the rest of these so I can bring it to you schmoes. I mean, my loving friends and family. <laughs> Well, I told you, this is what happens when Doug does too much. But I got to try them, and then I'm going to make this cocktail real fast, and then we're going to be, we're, we're out, right? Yeah. 
Okay. Just dropping those in the milk, just letting them sit in a milk bath. I don't know if that's going to help with the, uh, the heat, but, you know. Plus, these are now bite-sized, and that's fun. So you, you don't have to have a whole hot popper that goes in there, in your mouth, and goes hot cream cheese spews everywhere. The dog agrees. It does. <laughs> Well, I love poppers. They are not the easiest to eat. Okay. I'm going to do the rest of these off camera because I love you all so much. Okay, go go, go flip those over. This is going to be a little longer than normal. So I'm sorry. You're just going to have to wait for me. Okay. So wet, wet, wet. This one is wet, this one is wet, this one is wet. Perfect. Tossing, tossing, tossing. Back in the wet, back in the wet, back in the wet. I can't believe we haven't had any cat hair on this up. Oh, yeah. Back in the wet. Okay. Dries. And here. And here. Make sure you're covering. You got all your dry wets and the dries. Okay. Now the now the important part is not burning yourself, Carmen. Do not burn yourself. Yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. Be nice to the oil and it won't be mean to you. I don't know. Nope, I messed that one up. That was a double, that was a double order. Okay. I'm going to make this, it's going to be amazing when I make this cocktail while these are frying because they take a couple of minutes, about five minutes, but that's, that's, that's plenty of time. Get yourself, get yourself your finger. How are they looking? They look amazing. They look amazing. That is, that is from a teenager, so you know they got to be looking amazing. Okay, I've got... And throw these one this one in and let it do its business here. Somebody tell Amy I have chargers. Well, you're there, John. <laughs> she needs a USB C charger uh, so that it's not. This is going to cut, it's not as vigorous as it should be. So, I'm, I've got the heat back, uh, back way up and it should be bringing it up to speed. We're about 325 on our way up. So, someone's in the kitchen. Piper, what are you doing in here? <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Might not be perfect, but we'll see. <laughs> right? <laughs> Why are you so tired? You didn't do anything but sleep. Oh. Okay. Don't drop these in as much as it is um, tempting to do so. <laughs> do not do it. You're gonna end up gonna end up a bad time. I don't know how many of these I've made, but it's enough for us to taste them. And if I don't give Louis some food soon, he might turn on me. So. You better hurry. Don't you worry. I can still fight if I need to. <laughs> okay. Look at these now, hey, I need uh, I need instructions for a cocktail. Uh, did you lose it? I didn't lose it. I just closed the page. Oh, I did lose it. Let me. It's tequila. I know that much. Okay, I got it. Okay, ready? Okay. How much tequila? Two ounces. Two ounces? Oh. <laughs> Nope, this is not where I want to make this. I want to make it over here. Okay, one. <laughs> You're not going to use your round ice? No, two. All right, squeeze of lime. A squeeze of lime. Yep. Um, boop. Boop. Club soda to top. Don't we need, didn't it need the honey? The... No, that was the other one. 
Yeah, this one is just lime whites for garnish, club soda, squeeze the lime. Oh, I'll put this, I'm going to stir this up. What do we think? What did we call this? This is the tequila highball. It's a highball, but with tequila and lime. It's very tequila -y. <laughs> Good lord, that's not good. Usually I make that face. I don't think I like highballs. I think maybe that's just it. See? Look at, look at what we're getting here. Wow. Okay. Those are looking good, right? Okay. See? It's chaos and then it all comes together at the end, everybody. I know you don't believe me. But I know what I'm doing, but maybe I planned it this way. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. You don't know. I didn't. But. Okay. So they started to float, which is good. I'm looking for, yep. You're going to get a little uh, trail here of probably cheese, but. Oh, yeah. You want everything to be cooked, you want everything to be crispy, but, you know, when you bite into a jalapeno a popper, I'm sure that you know this, um, yes, Palomas are amazing. We've made them before, and they are real, real good. I'm just letting this look. I don't, I'm kind of checking on these pretty thoroughly here because I do not want them to burn. I like the coating, the coating, outer coating is good. It's nice and crisp. So I'm just kind of wet, wanting these to get to a, again, oh, God damn it, a golden brown, but without too much, um, not getting too dark. So I'm just, I got to continue to watch these because if you don't watch them, you're going to end up um, with a bad time. And I don't want a bad time. Does anybody want a bad time? Hey, John, is there any carnitas meat left for me? Or carne asada, whatever it is you got? Because I'm, 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 I'm looking for love, and carne asada is its name. And Amy. But <laughs> Amy first, then carne asada. Okay, now... You got a lot of oil here, but you're going to get, you're going to, see, now it's getting real violent because there's moisture coming out of it. And it's, that's coming from that. So I'm going to pull them because I think that's basically what I'm looking for. If you want them to go longer for yours, they go longer, but I want them nice and golden brown. Some of them may take a little bit longer. The other thing I want to pull these out because I don't want them to be friggin' lava bombs when they go in my <laughs> mouth. So um, I'm gonna throw some of this honey simple syrup in here anyway. Because yeah. if I had again, we need some agave syrup, and that would make these for, make this a good drink. Can't you get that at one time? You can. Okay. I don't know if you can see this, but the the Cream cheese is like boiling out of it. That is hot. That's a hot Jack Mosley. Okay. I'm going to turn this off because for reasons. No! Did you see that? It exploded. <laughs> yeah. Yo, watch out, everybody. Cream cheese is lava hot. All right. You know what you shouldn't do, Carmen? What? Leave a plastic container near a hot, hot burner. You really shouldn't. Oh, did it work? No, it yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Yeah, there we go. That did it. I mean, it's basically I made a margarita. Let's let's be honest. Without the triple sack. But you know, we tried something new. Okay. Uh let's let's I'm gonna burn my mouth because for the sake of TV. Ooh. Should we taste this first? See if it tastes like. 
pretty close. Oh man. Uh oh. This is all I'm going to eat now. Again, it is not bright red like broccoli berry sauce. Now, this is still warm, but who cares? These are going to be lava hot. So um, let's, here's the not burning your mouth off. Yep, I'm just dipping it right in. I don't really care. <laughs> oh my god. That was too hot. Good thing I was drink. But that's excellent. They're just too hot. I really like that. We've got about what? Four or five minutes left on the ones outside? Cool. Did the outside look like it's getting nice and cooked? Yeah, and then like some of the cheese is melting it looks really, really good. You heard it here first. Okay, so next week, I want to do, I was going to do something else with jalapenos next week, and now I don't remember what it was. It doesn't matter. Um, what? I could do I could do it with. Die. I could, whatever. These aren't even hot. They were temperature hot. Okay. They weren't spicy. Okay. I could make serrano, something with serrano peppers. <laughs> Maybe I'll make another dessert. I don't know. Um, oh, I'll show you what the bacon looks like if you want to look at that. I got to turn it. So, hold, please. So, like I said, I've got uh, two batches going here, separate, one one pork belly, two two separate batches. And I got them vacuum sealed, not fully, and every every day or so you got to come in here and flip them so that all the juices run in here. And it's going to, this one's got the Cal Calabrian uh, chilies in it, uh, chili flakes, and this has got just the regular old maple brown sugar, and this is kind of what it looks like. But we've got about four or five days left on this, and then we will uh, smoke it and call it bacon. So, okay. While we're waiting, I'll make some more of these. Um, I do like, the, I like the rings, because again, when they're not lava hot, you can get you can get a bite size out of it. But yeah, you know, I probably should do that with this. Yeah, I'm just gonna use one glove. I'm not pushing finger. Push it. Push it real good. I'm not joining that cult. <laughs> I'm not. It's just how it goes. Oh, I missed. A lot. So the, the 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 trick of the trade here is do one, do one of these things, or if you've got a lot more time than an hour, then do it then. But that's a itchy nose. Uh, but you can you can prep these pretty fast. I would just get have a party or uh, something like that, and then have a, enough people that will be like, hey, I'll help you do that. Speaking of uh, parties, oh my God! Tomorrow we, we actually start construction on the pizza oven. Not the not the oven itself, but the base. John's gonna come over if he's not too hungover. Um, he's gonna <laughs> come over anyways for D and D. But and then we're gonna do some work. So hopefully I don't. I'm still hopped up on goofballs and have enough energy to do all that before D and D. Which means I have to get up earlier so I can prep for D and D better. Hey. Sundays are the day to sleep in for you. Yeah, well, I haven't really sleeping in lately. I don't know what the deal is. Hmm. Interesting. It is interesting, isn't it? Yep. What? How late have you been sleeping in? Like noon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's radio silence, and which worries me because she doesn't have her continuous glucose monitor on right now and I've got to be like what's your blood what is your blood sugar like a psycho what is your blood sugar doing these days doing pretty good you know 100s that's good high, high 100s like 190s yeah but that's not terrible for a diabetic right no 200s so you know, as long as you're checking it multiple times a day as yep. you're supposed to 
to FaceTime Danny tonight. Why? He asked me to. Oh. So my brother Danny, and I think I've mentioned this, but he and his wife Carly, they moved to Missouri. That's a big change for both of them since they've lived in Alaska for how long now? Forever? I mean, like Danny his whole life, Carly. Yeah. It was since she was like 19. Yeah. Crazy. 18, maybe. I don't know. So, uh, you want to go check those for me? Yep. Because again, it is a thin layer, and the jalapenos are going to be, you know, what they are. So. <laughs> Have you been watching any movies, Carmen? You watch anything lately? Uh, we. I watched the Never Ending Story. What is that? It's a movie from the uh, a movie from the eighties hmm. that I watched as a kid. Uh, but it's right now for some reason it shows as um, the history on Steam in our Plex. So <laughs> instead of saying singing the Never Ending Story, Amy goes Lucky Star is on Steam. <laughs> oh. I started watching The Clapper. The Clapper? What the hell is The Clapper? It, it's a really weird movie. I don't even know how to explain it. It has Nard Dog from The Office. Oh, okay. And, like, he gets paid to be, like, one of those people on TV that just, like, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Audience. I've seen this. I don't, I've never seen it. I've seen <laughs> other previews. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, it sits in the studio audience of, like, infomercials and stuff. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, I started watching that. I've just been watching a lot of comedies, like stand-up comedies. Yeah, we've got a lot of time, so uh, I I think we've talked about it, but you should watch Severance if you haven't watched it. It's a it's on Apple TV. It's really really good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs> this is the, the pusher. Well, I'm not really having to push right now, but. John, is there any carnitas left for me? That's the real question. Or car carne asada. Are, are we good, you think? Uh, I think it's actually very much so. You know what? I, I, I'm, I'm impressed by your ingenuity. Hold on, everybody. I have to see a picture of a thing that is outside. Yeah, bring them in. Bring them in. There's got to be one of them that's not totally raw somewhere in, the, in it. There are no... <laughs> Okay, are there any carne, carne asada left for me? That's the real question. Is there any meat left? I just want to know if there's any meat for me. Street meat. <laughs> what? Carne asad? The musad? No, I don't want anything to do with the musad. Okay, milk, 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 <laughs> milk, milk. John, are you, how drunk are you right now, John? Sounds, he's only been going at it since four o'clock, so. <sighs> oh my God, Carmen, you let me put these in here without any cheese. My helper is not helping everybody. I'm sorry, I had to take pictures of the <laughs> thing he said. Well, I imagine you did that before you were super drunk, so. <laughs> were you taking a picture of what? <laughs> the comment. I always have meat for you, Doug. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this goes on hold now that I have these meat balls that I have to eat. Oh man, I shouldn't have milked these before I went put them in there. That's what she said. Okay, oh my god, look at this. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's gonna be real good, everybody. I'm gonna eat this one right here. And I'm hoping that I don't get hot cheese all over my face. I know you are all hoping that I get hot cheese all over my you face. Eat it over the platter. But it's like have it in one hand and then the when the cheese, you know, no, I'm gonna and do this. I'm gonna do this. fine. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be hot, so welcome to the eating show when it's hot. Mm. 
That is pretty great. <laughs> the chorizo is good, and the, and the regular sausage is good together. You get the smokiness. Um, of the meat from the smoker, obviously, and um, you get a burst of cheesy goodness right in your mouth. With the oh god! Oh god! That's it. I love you. Thank you for stopping by. Um, I'll be there shortly, everybody. Who's waiting for me? And um, thanks for stopping by, everybody. Again for sticking in for this long one. You know what you were getting into when you started here. So remember that we love you. Be kind, be loyal, do something nice for somebody next week, and we'll see you then.